Hi, I'm Parker, and I'm at my humble work in progress home studio in Los Angeles, California. Today, we continue our exploration of Phase Mistress, Soundtoy's powerful phase shifter plugin. If you haven't checked out part one in the series, there's a link in the description below. This video is going to be short and sweet. First, I'll show you an awesome sound design trick that lets you use Phase Mistress as a random tone generator. Then we'll see how using Phase Mistress inside of Soundtoy's effect rack enables the creation of even more complex and satisfying phaser sounds. Let's dive in. So I'm starting off with a simple synth arpeggio, but you can kind of use any sound for this. First, make sure the mix and the resonance are all the way up. Then we'll click this button and choose random from the various modulation modes. Now we have a resonant peak that's randomly changing frequencies. If I want to really hear the jump between different pitches, I can turn the smoothing all the way down, adjust the rhythm to have the pitch jump at a faster rate, and make a jump between a smaller range of frequencies by lowering the mod. There are a few obvious applications for this technique if you're making a cheesy retro sci-fi movie, but for music, how about a dramatic synth emerging from a cloud of lo-fi computer data? I found that a great way to make phasers sound really lush is to add a bit of feedback and delay. This is super easy with effect rack. Here's that same synth arpeggio with a fairly straightforward phaser added. Not a bad starting place, but I've got Echo Boy Jr. waiting in the wings. Let's hear what this sounds like with a little delay. I'm already liking the increased complexity and richness of the sound. I like the memory style on this. Ambient's great too. Next, we're going to utilize Effect Rack's Recycle feature. The Recycle control routes a portion of the output signal from Effect Rack back into the input, creating a feedback loop. The phase shifted synth sound will be delayed and then fed back into the phaser, creating new, unexpected resonant peaks and valleys as the signals interact. And so you start getting these fluttery, swirling waves of synth creating their own rhythms. I find this even more emotional and immersive than a phaser on its own. Now that I have this process set up with an effect rack, let's try experimenting. Maybe throwing on Super Plate? I'm going to open up the tweak menu and adjust the auto decay so that when the signal gets loud, the tail of the reverb gets shorter. That helps keep things under control. I can try selecting another style of plate. Maybe we narrow the width so it feels like the reverb's receding into the distance. Oh, that's nice. Alright, I'm just kind of getting into it and having fun. I'm going to throw on Filter Freak and see what happens. Let's just try out some presets. Uh, let's see. Sweeps. I mean, come on, it's perfect. This is why Effect Rack's so fun. I love having this in one place. Hopefully this inspires you to dive into Phase Mistress and get to know the capabilities of this amazing plugin. If you have any unique use cases for Phaser, let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, 
let us know which Soundtoys plugin you'd like to see highlighted next in the series. As always, thanks for watching. Great.